So today we are doing a very exciting video. The first exciting thing in this video is the new blinds. They finally arrived, thank goodness. If you can't remember what the blinds looked like, let me just put a picture in. Yeah. Ever since I started filming in this room, I keep seeing your comments, the blinds are so ugly. I like everything. But well, why the blinds? The reason was because the blinds I'd ordered were on back order, but they're finally here. So we don't have to worry anymore. Now I hope you don't dislike these ones because these are the, these are the ones, they're here to stay. I mean, unless you all hate them, then I'll change them. But yeah, I had to address it because I'm so excited about it. So today, as you guys can see by the title, we are doing a What I Got for Christmas 2021. I was contemplating not doing this video just because I wasn't sure if you guys would find it interesting or if they were still sort of a thing that people watched. But I asked you guys on Instagram and you seemed like you wanted to see it. So I was like, if you want it, I will do it. Absolutely. I also was kind of hoping that you guys would want to see this video. Video, not just because I feel like I got a lot of cute things that I want to share with you guys, but also because this has become a little bit of a tradition on my channel. I was looking back at old videos and I have done a what I got for Christmas video pretty much every single year since 2013. 2013! Why does that feel like it was yesterday? We're going into 2022. I believe this is a tradition now. We must do it every year. I could probably ramble on and on about how fun I think it is that we were doing this video in 2013 and we're still doing it, but I'm sure that's not why you're here. You're here to see what I got for Christmas this year. So as you probably deducted in this house, we do celebrate Christmas. So these are Christmas gifts. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm definitely not trying to brag in this video. I feel like the people watching this would know that this isn't about bragging. It's just about sharing and like showing fun things that I think are adorable and that I'm thankful that I got obviously, but it's not supposed to be bragging. I think some people get the connotation that haul videos are trying to show off and stuff, but that is definitely not what I'm intending to do. So I am sorry if it comes off that way, but I'm just really excited about everything I got. So I'm excited to show you. And I don't want this to be one way. I want you to tell me what you got. If you got something special or something that you're really excited about, let me know in the comments and let's get in to the video. Before we get started, I actually found the charity jar finally. So let's pick a charity. Today we have the, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Marie Curie Foundation. Okay, it looks like this charity helps people living with terminal illnesses and their families. So a very deserving charity. That is today's. Okay, now into the stuff. I don't even know where to begin. I'm looking at the pile and I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I will start here. These are from my parents and also my grandma. I feel like some people will probably recognize these. These are called corning ware. I would probably consider these to be some type of vintage because they don't currently make this exact type, but I don't know what's like classified something as vintage, how old it has to be. But I remember being a young child and my my mom would pull these out of the oven and they always had like the most delicious foods in them because they would keep them so nice and warm. They also have lids, which I have two lids for the ones that I got. They're downstairs because I was, I put the, uh, I put the Christmas dinner leftovers in them. So there's a few missing. Basically, I associate these dishes with really positive memories. Not only did my mom have them, but my grandma also had them. And actually my great grandma, I believe also had them. I've seen these associated with women in my family for a very long time. So I was super excited to have them. And there are two that are from my mom and then the rest of them are actually from my grandma. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different sizes. There's like bigger, medium, and then this small little shallow one. I feel like the shallow ones are really good for like peas or carrots and that sort of thing. And then the bigger ones, you can put anything in them. You can make a casserole, you can make a lasagna, whatever you want. Not only are these actually amazing quality, I also love the way they look. And I like that they are significant to our family. I've actually thrifted two Corningware pieces from some local thrift stores. And I love them obviously, but I like these ones even more because they actually were in my family. But some things that my grandma actually gave with these were these, and I had never seen these before, but it's really interesting because I feel like they don't make things like this anymore. So this is like a, a holder for the Corningware, specifically designed and sold with it. And down here, there's a little spot for a candle. So you would pull this out of like the oven 
and then you'd set it in here so it would stay hot while people were serving their dishes. And then this, which I honestly had no idea what this was, but I guess when it's in the oven like this, instead of using oven mitts, you would just, hold on. Stay with me, people. Oh, okay, so like you'd stick it on the side, all while it's in the oven, by the way. <laughs> There's probably reason they don't do this anymore. And then you'd tighten the handle. Wait. Oh, okay. And then you'd tighten that, and then you'd pull it out of the, are you follow, are we following this? Am I explaining this? Basically, it's sitting in the oven full of whatever it's cooking, and then you hook this on and tighten it, and then you pull it out and set it onto the tray. Is that not amazing? Is that not like the coolest thing you've ever seen? It's not? Okay, fine. I think it's cool. And I also love it because my mom and grandma use them. So I plan on hoarding these for the rest of my life. And hopefully giving them to my kids. So yeah, that's the first thing. Maybe I should go with of who got me what. So I'll just finish what my parents got me. So they also got me this adorable jar. Now, one thing about me is I love decorating for the holidays, but I'm really into pastel colors. So I don't like to go head to toe in like the red and green for Christmas. I like to try and add in, you know, like a pink into the Christmas decorations. So this was perfect. There's also people skating on this jar, which is really cute. Honestly, this doesn't even have to be like Christmas decor. I feel like this is just like winter decor. Definitely gonna have this out a long time. Okay, this is actually something I had asked for. I make like a small little Christmas list because my mom always wants one from everybody and I did put a knife sharpener on it My knives are so dull like they hardly cut anything So I'm gonna sharpen all my knives and also my mom got me this beautiful So sharp knife, which I'm actually a little bit nervous to use, but I think I'll be okay I've gotten really into like cooking and baking in the last few years during COVID so Look at this knife. Are you afraid for me? Are you afraid for me to have this? I am too, but I'm also excited about it. I watch so many cooking videos on YouTube. One of my favorite cooking channels is Jun's Kitchen. He lives in Japan, so my mom knew and my dad. I can kind of tell when my mom buys something versus when my dad buys something, and I think she was behind this one. Okay, another thing that I really, really wanted that I told basically anyone who would ask me, what do you want for Christmas? I would be like, I want a scrub, a scrub daddy. daddy. I don't know why I wouldn't buy one for myself. There's certain things that I just won't buy for myself because I think they're too extra, which is so bizarre that a scrub daddy would be that because you'd think that's like not extra. That's like sort of necessary for cleaning things. At least like it's a sponge, like it's not a big deal, but I wouldn't. So my mom bought me this big three pack scrub mommy, which I didn't even know there was a mommy. I only knew about the scrub daddy. So this is perfect because it's pink and purple and yellow, love it. So I'm really excited about this. I'm probably gonna put one in each like room. So we'll have like a bathroom scrub mommy, kitchen scrub mommy, and an extra. I love this pack. I haven't opened it because I love the way it looks in the pack. This is how you know you're getting older is when you're like super excited to get a sponge. That's how you know. These were two mugs that I think my mom actually found at Canadian Tire, really random, but she saw them and thought of me. I mean, actually, no, this was my mom and my dad. Okay, anything for my mom is also for my dad. Let's make it clear. These are so adorable. I like love when people buy me something that reminds them of me. And this is what they said reminded them of me. And they're these beautiful watercolor looking flowers painted on here. And I get flattered when someone buys me something cute like this and says it reminds them of me because it's so cute. Are you insinuating I'm cute? See, that's how it works. Okay, this is so cute, you guys. So me and my dad, which this is a video that's going to be up soon, but we actually did a video just like when I got my mom a wardrobe capsule, we did it for my dad. So we were shopping at the mall and we went by something and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so cute. And he was like, well, why don't you get it? And I was like, no, we're shopping for you right now. We gotta stay on task. And I guess that he made a mental note of the thing I said was cute. And then he went back to the mall and bought it for me for Christmas, which is so sweet and very thoughtful. So it's this like oversized long jacket and it's actually lined like it's a jacket even though it looks more like flannel style. And it's this gorgeous olive green and it's like, 
the fluffy material, which I love. I literally wear like head to toe fluffy things. It's like a fluffy jacket, fluffy top, fluffy bag. My shoes have like fluff built into them. So this fits perfectly and I love green. And I mean, that's so nice. Like dads are so cute like that, you know? I always see those things on Instagram where it's like you mention you enjoy eating like a pomegranate and then your dad goes out and buys like 30 pomegranates because you like eating them. That is so cute. I never really noticed, but like my dad does do that. Okay, now the last thing for my parents, I know they always go overboard with getting gifts. My mom is like really big in every love language. Like she's really good about it, but she's definitely big in giving gifts. So this is something that I've wanted for so, so long. And the reason why I haven't got it for myself is because I feel like it's very bougie and kind of extra in the sense of what this machine does, I can do. It's just more time consuming. And that is like whisking when I'm baking, cause like I bake a lot and sometimes I'm like whisking icing and it gets really exhausting. So I've thought about buying a electric mixer but they're pretty pricey and they're kind of bougie. Well, they're very bougie, but uh, I guess I don't have to think about it anymore because you probably know where this is going. My back is hurting so much and this is so heavy. My parents bought me a KitchenAid, wait, where's the tilt head stand mixer in this beautiful teal blue. And also why I'm struggling so hard with this box is because it's actually in there. Like I haven't taken it out because I wanted to leave it in for the video for effect. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to bake with this. Whenever I'm doing a recipe and it says like beat this for three minutes to create like a fluffy dough, I'm always like, oh my God because I know I only have my hand whisker. So I know it's gonna be like quite hard. And I do, I do suffer from carpal tunnel. So whisking constantly is quite painful. So to have this mixer is like next level. I'm so excited about it. Love it. It's gonna make so many different things I wanna make so much easier. I swear I stopped making bread completely because I was getting so exhausted while mixing, which sounds stupid. But if you have carpal tunnel, you know what I'm talking about because it's quite painful for your wrist. So now with this little bread attachment here, Perfect, so I'm so thankful for this. This is such a huge gift and I'm so excited to use it. There's also like attachments for making pasta at home. <sighs> this thing's amazing. If you have one of these, please tell me which attachment is your favorite because I'm in the market for attachments. Okay, so now, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, my fiance got me a lot of stuff, so let me just go through it. I don't know why he got me all of this because I literally specifically told him, please don't get me too much, um, but here we are, here we are. So I guess he heard me complaining about the dullness of the knives and he got me a new, very sharp knife. This one is actually, I think it's made in Canada. Yeah, designed in Canada, very cool. LOL, okay, this is funny. <laughs> I've been really into essential oils for a while and so he got me the natural wellness Allergy release, cause I am allergic to everything now. And the stress release, because I'm stressed out constantly. The type of essential oils people get you says a lot about what your struggles are because I remember I got my mom a few essential oils a couple months ago, it must've been for Mother's Day or something. And I got her the hot flash remedy. <laughs> And it's like, you're just sort of pointing things out through what you get them as an essential oil. <laughs> and then he got me a few baking things. Now, every time we go to HomeSense in the baking aisle, I always say, oh my gosh, those are so cute. Like, aren't those cupcake trays adorable? But then I think to myself, I already have a cupcake tray. I don't need another one. It's just like an extra thing that I won't buy. But when you get gifted it, then you don't have to have that thought process. So you got the cupcake tray, the square cake pan, which is so fun because I love making brownies and this adorable spatula and they all match and they have like this, do you see like they're like sprinkles in there. So cute, I love it. And then this strawberry mold where you can like make chocolates. And then this, which I think this is called a sifter, right? I think so. So you can sift your flour, but you can also like dust powdered sugar on things. I have wanted one of these for so long, but again, I've just never bought it for myself because it feels very extra, but I'm so excited like to make donuts and then 
sift the powdered sugar on top. Or even sometimes I'm watching baking videos and they're like, sift your flour. So it becomes all fine. And I'm like, why? I don't understand. But now I can do it, even if I don't understand. All right, and with this gift, he actually got me a subscription to a baking box. I guess it comes once a month with like a different recipe. So we're gonna do some baking together, pretty freaking jazzed about it. This was a great gift because I will use it and it's also cute. This is also from my fiance. Now I had told him months ago that I really, really want a cookie jar because anytime I make, there's like an over, there's like a theme to this. Like I bake a lot now, but I told him I always make cookies and then we put it in a Tupperware, which is fine. But I said, wouldn't it be cute if we had like a cookie jar sitting out so that when people walk by, they can just take the lid off and take a cookie. So he got me this one, which I'm so excited about. He went to like so many different thrift stores trying to find me a vintage cookie jar that I would like. And he found this one and it is so perfect. It's a little house and I thrifted recently these three little houses that hold like parsley, garlic, and one other thing. I actually don't know what the third one holds. Cinnamon, but I don't have cinnamon in it. But anyway, it looks just like this, but different colors and smaller. So now in the kitchen, there's a big house and three little houses and it looks so cute. And like, it's in such good condition too. Look at that, love it. And he had filled this with fudgios, which there's actually a few in here. <sighs> so tempted to eat them. Oh yeah, and in here, he had put two private lessons to a dance class, cause for our wedding, I really wanna learn a swing dance where you like throw your partner up in the air. So I'll keep you posted on that. If you guys would like me to film our dance lesson, I definitely can. Um, just let me know and I'll do it. And then for my brother Tate and his fiance! Surprise! Tate is also engaged right now. Him and his fiance literally did like slam dunk gifts. And again, this is one of those things that they said when they saw it, they thought of me and I'm flattered. So they got me this watering can. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's got, oh my gosh, there's something in my eye. I'm crying. <laughs> it's got obviously a rainbow and it's all these beautiful pastel colors. I love pastel. You guys probably know I do have a fair few of plants and I guess this is from like a small business on Etsy. So love that. So this is perfect. And then, oh my gosh, Tate's fiance actually is so talented at literally everything she does. I've actually commissioned her on a few graphic design projects for the channel. If you guys see my banner on my channel, that uh, is pretty new. She actually made that and she's so freaking talented, honestly. And not only does she do like graphic design stuff, but she also can crochet the house down. Boots. Actually, there's a little bit of story behind this, but I was at the farmer's market and I saw this little toddler. I don't know how old he was, maybe like four. And they had this adorable little red hat with a stem and a leaf. So it was like an apple hat. And I was like, that is so cute. But I wasn't like, that was cute. Cause it was a toddler. I was like, that hat is so cute. I want one. Where did you get it? Like, you know what I mean? To like a four year old, uh, obviously. They did not know. I didn't actually ask the kid because I knew that would be weird, but I mentioned it to the family once. I don't know why. And <laughs> look what she made. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yup. Yeah, she did that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes, she did. She made me an apple crochet hat by hand and it's perfect. My eyes are watering because I'm like so excited about this hat. Like it's so cute. <sighs> this hat is literally perfect. I love everything about it. It's better than that four year old's hat at the farmer's market. <laughs> no offense, four year old, but seriously, because this one has like this cute ruffly rim and just hold on a minute because if you thought this gift couldn't get better, just a minute. <laughs> Yeah, chip what? It's lipstick, babe. <laughs> so yeah, they made Chip a matching hat. And honestly, he doesn't seem to mind it. Against like for free will, he won't wear it. Like he'll rip it off. But like 
It's really comfortable on his head. I honestly can't. It's so cute. When I saw the hat, I was like amazed and so excited. And then at the bottom of the bag, another mini hat. Oh my gosh, Chip, you are posing so good right now. Okay, perfect. You did amazing, sweetie. Okay, now the last thing is actually from everyone. I guess they went all together and got this gift, but this is sort of on the same line of crocheting. Actually, not sort of, like completely. This is a granny square blanket. I've been talking about wanting a granny square blanket for so long, but I was really not expecting for them to get one. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I had to run downstairs to grab Chip and then put him back. But anyway, this is so cute. I love these little pieces on the side. And I just am like amazed with what people can make. Everyone is so talented. Everyone has like their own talent and they just do it so good. And like this granny square blanket, that is a talent. And it is beautiful. And I'm obsessed with this. It looks so good in the living room and it's so nice and soft. So I was really thankful to get this. I think it's beautiful. It's one of those things that like I'm kind of protective about like when Chip is outside and then runs in I'm like don't touch the granny square blanket But okay, so yeah, that is everything that I got for Christmas this year quite the haul I know honestly I was spoiled for sure I'm interested to hear what you guys got for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas if not What was a birthday gift that you got and if you don't do gifts then? What was something fun you did in 2021? Let me know down below. Also, this is a Friday video. You guys know I used to post twice a week, but then I recently moved into this house and I've been renovating it. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's not that much work because she probably has a whole team and a project manager. No, I'm the project manager and I don't have an entire team. I mean, my family is helping me. Like they help me with the painting and all that, but we are doing everything on this house from the bottom to the top. We are doing it all basically with our own hands. So it is a ton of work, especially with planning the wedding. But you know what? I wouldn't want it any other way. But I did start doing one video a week because it was just getting so busy. But in the new year, I'm gonna try to get back to my two videos a week. It'll probably be sort of like one video a week and then two and then one and then two and then eventually work my way up. But I'm gonna try my very best. And this is the first week. Getting back into two, I guess. So yeah, stay tuned because there will probably be some Friday videos coming out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!